As of September 11th, 2022, there are 49 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Villarica in Chile, which has been continuously erupting since December 2nd of 2014. While this volcano has produced some truly large Plinian eruptions in recent geologic times, including two caldera-forming eruptions, its recent eruptions have been much smaller. Villa Rica frequently has a lava lake present, which aids in the generation of its frequent Strombolian eruptions. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Russia, a new explosive eruption occurred at the Elite Volcano in the Kuril Islands, sending a plume of ash to a height of 3,000 meters or 10,000 feet. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, a change in sensor readings at the White Island Volcano caused its alert level to be raised. And, in Iceland, although there is no longer an active eruption, there is an intense earthquake swarm ongoing to the north of the country. This earthquake swarm is occurring on a known large strike-slip fault zone which has generated quakes in the magnitude 6 range in 1885, 1910, and 1976. For context, a strike-slip fault is a boundary that moves horizontally, with one famous example being the San Andreas Fault. Known as the Grimsey Lineament, this fault line connects with the northern volcanic zone to the south and a section of mid-ocean ridge to the north. Strike-slip faults are common spots for volcanic complexes, and this fault is no exception, as they often act as the path of least resistance for molten rock. Part of the fault runs through or adjacent to two volcanoes which have each produced eruptions since the country has been settled. One eruption occurred in 1372 to the northwest of Grimsey, while a second eruption occurred between December of 1867 and January of 1868 north of the island of Manarijar. Its latest earthquake storm began in the early morning hours of September 8th, culminating in a magnitude 5.2 earthquake. Since then, more than 500 quakes have struck along the fault line, largely being centered at between 1 and 17 kilometers in depth. While some people have speculated that these quakes could be magmatic, I see no evidence as of yet that these are anything except tectonic in origin. Aftershocks will continue in the upcoming weeks, albeit at a decreased rate unless another major earthquake occurs. Of the 49 volcanoes which are actively erupting, two nations stand out as having the largest among this group. Indonesia has seven actively erupting volcanoes, while Russia has six. During the last few months, two new eruptions began the Kuril Island chain in far eastern Russia. Both of these eruptions began on the populated Paramushur Island and were mildly explosive in nature. Then, on September 10th, a third volcano known as Alade in close proximity to the erupting Ibeko and Chikarashki volcanoes, but on a separate island, also unexpectedly erupted, sending a plume of ash to a height of 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters. Alade has historically produced some smaller eruptions, but it also has a record of highly explosive subplinian or plinian eruptions. For example, its eruption in 1981 had a volcanic explosivity index of a 4. However, such a large eruption is not to be expected for the time being. What likely occurred was a medium-sized phreatic eruption with a probable volcanic explosivity index of a 1. Within New Zealand, there are more than a dozen active volcanoes. Of these, the second most active volcano since 1950 has been the scenic White Island Volcano, with 24 distinct eruptions since then. These have largely consisted of phreatic eruptions which are difficult to predict, meaning real-time monitoring of a volcano is crucial. For several months, the White Island Volcano has been an alert level of 1 on the 0 to 5 scale. Then, due to a change in sensor readings, its alert level was raised from 1 to 2 on September 7th of 2022. This change in alert level was made not due to an increasing amount of volcanic activity, but rather due to the fact that it had been unsafe since 2019 to repair or replace decaying real-time equipment at the volcano due to a persistent threat of another phreatic eruption. On August 5th, the single remaining seismoacoustic station on the volcano stopped working. Since scientists no longer have sufficient data to distinguish between activity which would best be suited via an alert level of 1 or an alert level of 2, it was raised to 2 as precaution. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Thomas Joseph Linden for supporting this channel.